Now, before the hour, Congress has ordered the FAA to come up with a new plan to open U.S. airspace to drones by the year 2015. But there is new information this morning that the navigation systems of unmanned drones could be hacked, which would allow the wrong people to gain control of that aircraft. John Roberts on that story live in Atlanta. What did you find out, John? Good morning. Hey, good, good morning to you, Bill. So far, the implications and the worries about thousands of drones flying across the country have been all about privacy issues. But a team of researchers at the University of Texas have recently uncovered a gaping hole in the security of these unmanned aircraft. In a series of experiments conducted over the last couple of weeks that Fox News had exclusive access to, the researchers hacked into the GPS system of a small but sophisticated drone with a so-called spoofer, one that mimics real GPS signals. They took complete control of the drone by sending it false GPS signals, making it go wildly off course several times. The implications of this are that a terrorist group could do the same thing and use it to crash a drone into a building, even another aircraft. Todd Humphreys is the lead researcher on the project. In five and ten years, we've got 30,000 of these drones inhabiting the national airspace, cohabiting it with the piloted vehicles. Each one of these could be a potential missile to use, be used against us if they had been commandeered by somebody on the ground. Now, military drones have an encrypted GPS system that's difficult to hack into, but at the moment, in the civilian world, there is no protection bill against an attack like this. Well, is the government aware of this? You have to think they've thought about it. The, the government is aware of this. In fact, just last week, Humphreys and his team were invited out to the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico to show the FAA and the Department of Homeland Security what they could do. It's particularly worrisome because in the years to come, drones flying in U.S. airspace are going to get bigger and bigger. In fact, the founder of FedEx wants a fleet of cargo plane sized drones to pilotlessly move packages across the country. If we can do this with the small one, we can do it with the big one. And it, it just shows that the kind of mentality that we got after 9-11, where we reinforced the cockpit door to prevent people hijacking planes, well, we need to adopt that mentality as far as the navigation systems for these UAVs. Now, the government is exploring a couple of programs to try to protect GPS systems. They're called Patriot Watch and Patriot Shield, but they are poorly funded and at the moment really aren't much more than a PowerPoint presentation. Experts I talked to say that they're worried that DHS brass really isn't going to pay a proper amount of attention to this until something happens. Bill? Well, and it's a growing issue. Uh, John Roberts, thank you.